Oh, hi everyone. I'm now going to show you how you can publish homework details in Gibbon so that these become visible to um, students and particularly to the parents, which who are of course very keen to know. So let's go and look at what a parent um, and a student uh, would see when you're using this tool correctly. So I'm just going to click on um, my class here, click on one student, and um, there are two links here that are important. One obviously is homework, and this will display all the homeworks that have been set to that student in that class. And then another link will be marked book here, which will show um, the record of homeworks, whether they've been completed, and whether the teacher has, has made any comments. Um, and this is basically what the parents will see when they also go into Gibbon, um, and of course which they're interested in. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, the quickest way is to go to your main timetable page, and in this case I'm going to click on 2S's next lesson, and I'm going to publish some details there about the homework that I will set. So I will click here on the plus sign, and this screen opens up where I'll type in details of the homework. Ignore units. Just type in here, I'm going to say energy uh, and food, and this is going to be about food tests, and that's the date of the lesson, that's the time of the lesson. I'm going to ignore the lesson details, because I don't use given for that, but I am going to scroll down, and I am going to say that yes, homework will be set, and that the homework hand-in date will be the following Monday. Given will add a time for that, so you can ignore that. And I'll just type in here a, a very short message to say that um, it's to complete um, the lab report um, about the results of the food tests, which they will be doing in that lesson. And I'll scroll down here and say online submissions. No, because I just want to publish details. I will not collect homework through Gibbon. And I want to create a column in my mark book. And that's the job done. That's the very quick way of making students and parents and colleagues aware that you set homework. Remember I opted to add a column to my mark book, so Gibbon is now asking me to give details about uh, that column in the mark book. So um, I've got energy and food here. Um, I'm going to obviously say this is a, a piece of homework. Um, I could add some more details here, which is food tests. Um, and and description, which will be a lab report. Um, and then here's the important bit, really, that assess attainment. Well, no, because I, I actually do that in Teamy. I'm not going to record their, um, their grades on this. Um, and, but I am going to record the effort. And uh, the effort scale here, now it's important you choose this one, completion. Because completion is simply a three-point scale, completed, late, or incomplete. And that's really all you need to publish on given, nothing else. Include the comment, yes, I think you saw that when you viewed uh, a student's um, homework record. Include upload responses, no, okay. And clearly viewable to students, yes, and I'll have the go live date will be um, this coming Friday, and that's submitted. So I should now have in my um, mark book here for, for 2S, I'm going to view my mark book, and there, there's it here, okay, it, it's all ready now for me to enter marks uh, after they've done the work and hand it in on the 12th. To enter the data, I just click here on data and, and up come the options, which as you can see, just three point scale, and I can add a comment. Now this is a bit tedious to go through every single one, but the developer has promised that uh, after Christmas, this will default to complete and all you have to do is to enter the late submissions or the incomplete submissions one by one. Now, there is one more way you, you can add um, homework details directly into your mark book, uh, rather than go through the, the planner, which is what we did here, or via the lesson uh, thing here. Um, but you can see how I've, a tick here means I've already added some lesson plans. So let's try this short route, which is to go um, directly to the mark book here. And um, I've got my columns here. And I can simply add a column directly. Okay. And then you will see that same screen that you saw before, uh, and you would enter in similar details, which I, I won't do because it will repeat the column. But the same details would go in here about the homework, the 
the lesson with the name of the task, type of task it is, and you would then select all the appropriate um, variables here to define the homework. And that will create the column uh, in your markbook and um, also the submission data as well. Okay, I'm now showing you what um, a parent will see when they've logged in to Gibbon. Um, and they will see an overview here of assessments, uh, completion records, and the like, and up and coming deadlines here. They can then go to student profile, and they'll have access to the homework record, which you will now be familiar with, and also the markbook record, which will give you a few more details about uh, the student's um, history with homework. Um, so look, it's really very powerful. It's sharing very useful information with parents. I know they're very keen to use this and I'm quite convinced that should we all use this consistently then it is in the best interest of our students and will develop really strong work habits which we need if we are to improve their grades. Thank you.